Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be going back to the 1920s. So this is one of the many of the self-defense demonstration videos, but I gotta say it's very well done. But at the same time, I saw some techniques that were quite unusual. You usually see the hip toss and tomoe nage, etc. But this one was actually quite uh, interesting. There's even some offensive techniques and uh, it's clearly made in the 1920s and you'll see from the furniture to the styles, everything. But nonetheless, it's always good to go through them because you will always find something new, just like uh, in this one. So it starts by a scene that uh, it says that you will never know what's out there so this is the 1920s everyone is well dressed and so he sees his prey and uh, he goes after her looking for her purse uh, in the middle of the day so she just comes out quietly out of her car she pushes on the head while maintaining control on the wrist and then here the hand that was doing the the harm, she keeps control of it. She rotates him around and throws him with this very good Seoinage, I must say. It's not like where those someone grabs your neck from behind and then you throw them. No, she rotates someone onto her back and then with both hands goes down. So this is very much like uh, Olympic champion Mark Housinga's Seoinage. Very unusual, off the tip of the sleeves. So he takes it does a very big pull rotates around and then loads his opponent onto his back and then uh, throws him down it's it's quite interesting to see in a 1920s women self-defense video so here you see much like koga he would put one leg in the middle and then uses it to push off and uh, throw and cut down with his hands and here you see I see it live it's a great technique I'm not gonna lie so I'm not a fan of Sayonage but this one is actually quite interesting he just grabs the tips and just goes there so here she yells at him and then tells her there's a jujitsu class at seven you should come so they come it's clearly not a dojo it's very fancy place with some mattresses on the ground and so she tells her that the control of the wrist is very important and till this day it's one of the best advice you can tell someone so uh, wrist control here uh, osoto otoshi just like the elio gracie self-defense or the old japanese self-defense grabs the hand then blocks it's not so much of a reap where you just blow the leg out you just put it behind and then with the hands you control downwards but uh, instead of you know judo grips as the wrist but blocking the leg from behind and then taking someone down over it is a great way to really put someone down and effort not effortlessly but um, in a very controlled way and that does not require a lot of energy again these ladies come in here she's she's making it look like all you need is this one class but no you actually need years of experience and so here maintains control of the wrist it's very important so she's showing her the technique closely and uh, slowly the way she puts her leg is quite interesting I've never seen this way of but then here she bends her over backwards maintaining control of the wrist and then here she does a very interesting wrist lock so you see anyone who knows a thing about wrist locks knows that elbow control is also very important she does it by pressing on to the ground very much like this um, aikido technique here a finish where you press on the elbow downwards while pinning the wrist somewhere similar but it's a bit inverted now finally the ankle throw or last but the one before actually so the ankle throw before the foot lock or leg torture as she, as she calls it so you grab the ankle from the front and the knee 
and then you pull seems like a sneak attack rather than self-defense in my opinion but here she puts it in a uh, foot torture or a ankle lock i would assume but, but she, because she didn't do it now finally this one was she was taking someone with tegatame but the assailant takes her down and tries to get on top that's the idea and so she does what she called the somersault throw which is a tomoenage so this is tegatame where you pin the elbow by using your hand underneath as a way to block it and then the other one you keep it close to your chest and apply pressure but the other person decides to fall down uh, to relieve the pressure and so they can get on top of you and that's where she does the tomoe nage so this is not uh, new by the way i'll show you another example from the old japanese books so this is tomoe nage so it's a th circular throw so that's one of the ways to translate it in english so here it's it's for the people that don't even know judo, they will know that this is a judo throw. So you kick the stomach, and that's how the first Lion King ended, also where someone was charging. So this is from the uh, female self-defense book. I believe it was from the 1910s. And so it says when someone is aggressing you from this position, you make sure you put your legs uh, in front and here you can use it to launch them over and uh, from the back or to the back and from there you defeat that someone who is trying to come uh, on top of you and uh, you know being the aggressor so you don't need a bunch of techniques i noticed uh, when it comes to self-defense it's but what matters obviously is those that you can assimilate quite quickly. I'm not saying in a session or two, I'm talking in quite some time because you know you can go out and get attacked, you know, right now. But you know, God forbids this does not happen. But um it obviously it all comes down to a lot of techniques and uh, repetitions, but also you know, depending on your body, your weight, your height. Uh, your strong points your weak points you should be able to differentiate between techniques and know which one is best for is best for you we all have that one technique that even at such a beginner level we just for some reason we were very good at it either on the ground or standing up so um, please let me know when you were a beginner what was the technique that you just all of a sudden became very good at let me know down below Consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.